and powerlifting the risk of injury increases as you get closer to your limit. And since most elite powerlifters are constantly actively looking up their limit, they are exposed to the risk of dramatic injury all the time. Scott Mendelson has been an elite bench presser since he stepped on the platform. He has held many records in the raw as well as the multiply division of the sport. And most of these he has set while he was in his 30s, but he stayed very active to well in his 40s. But the fact that he kept pushing for over a decade eventually took its toll. In 2013 he had a dramatic injury that was pretty much career ending for him. But before we get into that I am proud to announce our first sponsor Let's Get Checked. I've always held off brand deals in the past because I only wanted to work with companies that offered real value to you guys. And I think I found that today. We all know testosterone plays a huge role in performance and strength sports. Let's Get Checked offers a quick and easy way to find this out within the comfort of your own home. Just order their test kit, take a small blood sample and send it back to them. From the moment they receive the sample you will be able to access the results within 2-5 to five days. If you want to try this out use discount code VAULT at checkout for 20% off. But now let's have a look at Scott's records. Scott was most active in the raw scene at the start of his career. He started out as a 125 kilo lifter, but he quickly built up to the 140 kilo class. He eventually took the record in this weight class, pressing just over 700 pounds. And this record actually stood till just a few months ago when Johnny Harris broke it. In the early 2000s there weren't a lot of people benching in the 700s, so it was only a small jump for Scott to move up to the all time world record. And in 2003 he took this as well with a 323.5 kg bench press. Three years later he ended up breaking this again and he added 1 kg to this. But this would remain the best bench press of his career. The injury. In 2013, 10 years after setting his original record, Scott wanted to take another shot at increasing it. This time he was already 44 years old. He took a successful attempt at 292.5 kilo. After that he decided to jump to a nice round 325 kilo. But unfortunately just when the weight left his chest, he had a very visible pack there. And the result of that was extreme bruising all over his torso. Scott ended up losing the record two months later and since then he has never done a raw meet again. He does seem to be still active and equipped lifting but I don't think he's competing anymore. That was it for the video everyone, thanks for watching. Please follow Enrique on Instagram, he is working up to a 700 pound squat and he has recently been able to hit 635 pounds for a double. If you enjoy these videos don't forget to like and subscribe and also check out one of the suggested videos displayed on the screen right now.